we are going to be doing a bridal makeup trial on a friend of mine that is getting married this weekend. I decided that um, we might as well film the tutorial since um, Scandinavia was kind enough to send me uh, their primer spray and their bridal makeup setting spray. So um, this is a sponsored video, just so you know. And um, I will actually have a coupon code for you all down below if you're interested in purchasing this, um, these two products or one or both or whatnot. Um, so yeah, so far um, I've tested it out on myself as well and on my friend and we both really like it. It has a very long lasting um, effect on the makeup. So yeah. To get started, I'm going to take my Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance Primer and I'm going to apply that with my finger all over her eyelid from the lashes up to the brow. This is going to ensure that the eye makeup stays put for the entire ceremony and the reception and it looks great in photos. Next, I'm taking my um, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette and I'm taking that light pink shade in there up on the first row which is called Sprinkles and I'm just patting that all over the, um, I guess like third, almost a little over halfway, um, all over the lid. I wanted something kind of pink and sparkly. Next, I'm taking Naked Cosmetics uh, Loose kind of sparkly eyeshadow. This is in Sierra Nevada. It's kind of a light champagne um, color that has pink undertones. She wanted something really sparkly on the lid because it's kind of her personality. So we went with this and I actually sprayed the brush with the bridal setting spray to um, help uh, make those glitters adhere to the lid without having to use something heavy, hardcore. We were having our own conversation throughout this tutorial so that's why I'm doing this voiceover so I can um, instruct you and um, yeah. So next I'm going to take um, this Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. Uh, you can still get any of these colors. This is Deep Skin by um, Morphe Brushes and I'm taking um, a large fluffy brush. This one's by Luxie. I can't remember the exact number. I believe it's the tapered. But I'm just taking that and I'm taking it into the outer corner kind of um, making a V and putting it in the crease. This is going to be our transition color. Next, we are taking the Naked Smoky palette, and I'm taking Whiskey from that palette, which is a matte kind of grayish dark brown. And I'm taking a MAC 224 brush, and I'm just applying this into that outer V, and a little bit in the crease, not as far as we took Deep Skin by Morphe. So this is just going to deepen things up, but very gradually. So I'm taking it along the lash line and in the outer corner. The key to a perfect uh, smoky eye is just uh, blend, blend, blend. And now I'm taking an angled brush. Uh, this one I got in like a set from Forever 21. But um, I'm taking that same uh, whiskey color and I'm actually just applying it kind of like a winged liner uh, along her lash line to smoke it out and keep it looking more natural. So that's what we're doing here. And then afterwards, I will be putting, um, or I'll be taking a brush and blending it a little more, as you see here. So I'm just taking that 224, and I sped it up because, you know, you blend, 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 and you're just going to sit there and watch me blend forever. But that is the key to a perfect smoky eye. I then switched back to that first brush by Luxie that had the deep skin on it and I blended it out a little more. I'm taking this brush by Crown. It's kind of a doe foot shape and I'm taking satin sheets from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon bon palette and I'm using that as the brow bone highlight. Next, I'm just going to clean up any fallout using the Wet n Wild makeup wipes. These seriously are really, really good. I love them a lot. I keep them in my purse for those just-in-case mistakes. 
but yeah we're just cleaning up all the fallout and kind of sharpening um, the eyeshadow next I am priming with the Scandinavia oil controlling primer spray you want to make sure you apply this in um, a t-shape and then in a cross shape on your face to evenly disperse this and next I am taking the um, Milani um, primer this is the pore minimizing one and she actually has really great skin and probably didn't need it but I felt like with a bridal look better safe than sorry so I just put this kind of um, <clears throat> on her nose and under her eyes and on the cheeks where I find that pores are the largest and a little on the chin and forehead and it took a little bit to figure out the foundation but we went with uh, Too Faced uh, Born This Way in Natural Beige and I used my oval brush to apply it which it just made a flawless finish so you can see me applying that here real quick because it took a little bit of time but it has a great dewy finish uh, it didn't completely cover her freckles but it covered them up enough which I think is perfect for a bridal day here I'm just taking a damp cosmetic sponge and um, basically using it like I would a beauty blender. I don't have beauty blenders for my clients so I just made do. I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Fair Golden under her eyes to cover those dark circles because it has a little bit of a peachy undertone. And then I'm taking that same uh, makeup sponge and blending it out. This product did cover her freckles more than she wanted. I mean, she really loved the makeup, but. Uh, next, I'm taking the e.l.f. HD Powder in Shimmer, I believe. It has a little bit of like light reflecting particles in it. And I'm just setting that concealer so that we don't get any creasing and it looks natural. And now I'm taking this uh, Sigma brush. Uh, I will list the number down below because I can't remember off the top of my head. But I am taking the Wet n Wild uh, Caramel Toffee Contour and Highlighting Disc. It's a duo and super affordable, really great product. And I am just contouring her cheekbones along her jawline. And I believe I also use this down her nose just to give her a little bit of a contour there as well. Next, to blend out that contour a little more and give a little more glow to her skin, I'm taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light Bronze, or is it regular bronze? I don't remember. And then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics um, brush. There's no name on it, but it's kind of a dome-shaped kabuki, not the flat. It has a little bit of a dome. And I'm just blending out that contour, making it look a little more natural, but keeping that shadow. Uh, and this is where I contour her nose. So I'm taking another BH Cosmetics um, brush. It's kind of an, a, like a fat angled brush. And I use this to contour um, on myself and my clients. It's just perfect for that. And it helps blend it as well. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I just took that bigger brush from BH and blended out that contour a little more with it. Now I'm just warming up along her forehead like she'd been in the sun. Give her that little sun kiss glow with that same butter bronzer. I think it looks gorgeous on her. I think I forgot for the camera cut out when I was applying her highlight, which would have been here, but I used champagne pop on her. And next I'm using Milani's Luminoso with a Luxie brush. I'm not sure the number, I'll list it below. Um, but this also has shimmer and it kind of adds a glow as well. And here I am working on her lower lash line now that we've uh, done the face and um, applied concealer. I'm going back in with Deep Skin by Morphe and I'm using a pencil brush to lightly smoke out that lower lash line. And I'm going back in with Whiskey from the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and I'm taking a a flat brush this is by Mac and I can't remember the number but I'm just applying that dark shadow shadow along that lower lash line just on the outer third and I'm going back with a pencil brush and just blending it out 
Next up, we are applying these lashes by Morphe. They are the Demi Wispies and um, I think they are the perfect style for a wedding or bridal look. So I pretty much use these on all my clients. I apologize that you can't exactly see what I'm doing. I normally use tweezers, but I couldn't find mine, so I had to use my fingers. Um, I think they turned out pretty good. We're actually going to add a few individuals to the outer corners uh, on the day of to make it a little more dramatic. So here, now that the glue kind of dried on that side, I'm just pushing them up gently with my finger so that they sit correctly. Next up are the lips, and I'm using this J-Cat Lip Liner in T-Rose. I wanted to really define her lip, um, so I used that color, and then I applied this Essence Lip Color um, in this really pretty uh, pink, and I just applied that all over the lips with um, the applicator, and then I go in with a lip brush and blend everything out, make sure everything looks even and there's not a harsh line with the lip liner. And then here I'm pushing up the other side now that the glue dried on that side. And I'm finishing off with the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray and using the same motion, cross and then the X, and I'm fanning it to get it to dry. And here you can see me showing her the final result and she was super excited and really loved everything about her makeup. <laughs> yeah, so that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.